Hi guys, today's video will be a bit of a comparison between Strimmer mulching blades. These are Oregon blades, uh, they're 4mm thick so they're good, good quality blades. Askvana and still do their own versions as well, but I just went on the Oregon ones. I've already got a video on there of me running this on a small 25cc machine which is too small for really. So I'm going to put this on a bigger machine today, 35cc up, I'd say the 3 tooth uh, blade and use the two tooth then on like 25cc machine a loop handle machine and a cow handle on that one so we give it a review, I got lots of bramble and rough stuff to smash here's the machines by you like I said these are just the ones I'm using a 525, Asquana 525 and Asquana 335 which is similar to the 535 or, or anything bigger but that minimum I think you want 35cc for the three tooth blade and 25cc minimum I'd say on the, the two tooth blade, mulching blade. I think this one is about 15 quid, 15 20 pound in that bracket for that one. Like I said, it was only 12 pound that one. So I'll close it at 20 this one. Well worth it. I'll put a link uh, at the end of the video or below for the video of, the, of me using that one. But uh, it worked well. I was well happy with it. But I just want to try the two to see if there's an actual benefit of the three tooth or the two. Like I said, there's now one video on there. There's different comparisons between the two against the Oricon Jet Fit uh, Flexi Blade head. I will look more into them in the future. They're good, uh, good blade, good heads for different circumstances. When you're going up against walls and all that and stuff that you could hit like concrete pillars or going on fences. That's where the other type's better because this could get a bit dangerous then. But anyway, so we'll do a comparison. Like I said, I've got lots of stuff up there. I'll walk up in in a minute and show you. So I'll just fit the blades on the head, on the machines, and uh, stick some safety gear on then, and uh, we give them a go. i tell you what else I'll do as well. I'll just sharpen them. Even though they're brand new, I'll do it to this one a minute off camera. I'll just quickly knock the paint off. Because you'll be surprised how the paint do affect it. We can take off that edge, there's not really no, no sharp edge there. So, we knock the, I know it would knock off just by using it, but I just like to knock the edge off and it's just a bit more sharpness before you start. Okay, as you can see, I've got a world full of it, but yeah, you got to watch, I've got some livestock net in there, so don't hit that. There's some nasty thick stuff in here, and you can see. I think a lot of people like these videos because review videos of this stuff. Cutting bramble is a nightmare with a normal blade or normal strimmer. There we are. So both blades now fitted on so they're ready to go. Give it a bit of sharpen. Make sure they're nice and tight too. Because a fair weight to these. It's the last thing on one of these coming off because they're only so pretty. So make sure they're all fitted tidy. Nice and tight with all the right fit ins. Like I said, give them a quick sharpen. Just to take the paint off. Uh, they call the all in one blade they are. If you, when you're looking for them, or like an all in one blade or simmer blade, all in one for the mulching blades. Right, let's give it a go. So, there we are. That gives you a better idea the two blades against each other. There they are. Looking at the side of it, it does more angles, this one. So, I'd say that's going to cut more areas. With this one, it's just like a flat and then down. So this kicks up and then back down. So there's a lot, I think it's a lot more area coverage there of different heights. So that's one thing I'd say initially, which might help that one more. Obviously got extra tough on it, but that's got a longer area in one sense then. Right back to there. I don't know. So this is a review again of the Oregon brush cutter or strimmer all-in-one mulching blades. Start off with a two tooth one on a 25cc machine. Two blade then. 
on the 25cc. You don't need many revs with it. That's what I find because momentum of the steel just goes too fast really. But then I had a bit of vibration to it. And I know it's not a machine, it's definitely not, not a strummer. So that was a bit strange. I was getting a lot of vibration when I was over revving, which I wasn't getting with the other one. But we'll try the three blade now. for a second opinion but straight away I'd say the three tooth blade just seemed better I know I got more power in the in the strimmer but you don't need many revs either see people just scream too much it's just just enough momentum it's all you want safer as well I won't go crazy with it revving like hell like I said I might find a bit of vibration on the on the two tooth one compared to the three and I think we noticed it was just going through effortless I wasn't revving much, it was a nice purr to the strimmer, um, effortless I was to be honest though. We'll try the two again, in the same stuff by her, and uh, I'll just see if I can notice the difference again. happening now by using them and looking at the blades that's got a faster cut this is so I'd say that's better on looser stuff that's better on finer stuff you're gonna go through faster definitely knock that down faster then but it does stall when you're gonna pull the motor down I know it's only 25 cc because you've got a big flat area that's what's pulling the motor down but it's going through stuff faster this is shorter, shorter cut, and there's three of them. It's just slower, but it's got more power. Thicker stuff, yeah, so I say dense stuff, this has got more power. Not to do with the three blades, I think it's the way they arranged up on the shortness of them. It don't pull the motor down so much. I noticed that on the, when it was on, on that one. This has been pulled on hell of a lot more today with this two tooth blade. You can't go wrong with both of them, to be honest with you. But I'm just trying to work out the best one um, for certain situations. Right, there's some light stuff by you. We'll try the two prong, we'll try the two tooth on this one. And then there's some heavier, thicker branches in here. We'll try it on some branches. And that's when you see the power difference in of the two different blades. Quite nasty, quite dangerous, to be honest though. Yeah, so it's quite nasty doing that. A nasty kick to it. You wouldn't want to go cut in many thick things, will they? Let's try the three tough one. <laughs> totally different. You can see that. That's what it's all about. Three tough, it's got the power. saying 
you want to cut something thick, just try cutting the new thing. guys and pretty much come to the conclusion now what's going on here you can see that that's not meant for that i know it's not but that was just a demo of what it would do it's things up to that um diameter you know what i mean that's got to be inch inch and a half to two, two inch like i know the cc is a different different machine but you can just tell it's just the way the blades go in through it nothing to do with the machine really the size of it but if you've got thick stuff to cut, I'd definitely be going on the three tooth blade. Light to medium, like density, bracken, uh, like fern, brambles, anything like that. Normal two blade. But if you've got really thick stuff, you have, might have to invest in a bigger machine if you want to use these three blades, three tooth blade. Like I said, it will go on a, on a smaller machine. I've had it on a 25cc machine, but just felt a lot of weight on the on the gearbox. I said it will do it, but I recommend using the bigger machine. You hardly feel it on there. I'll cut this bit with it now and see it working there. <laughs> It's brilliant, can't fault them, but this three prong definitely got the edge and the power. Like I said, might not be as fast, it's more like geared down the feel as you're working, but definitely, um, like I said, for thicker stuff, you can't fault it. types of harness. Obviously with a loop handle, obviously with a loop handle, I think you've got more reach because this will go with the, the cow handle, you further back. That's the only thing. So you've got to reach more. Alright you've got to knock it. But I'd rather knock a single one than a, than a heavy cow handle if you're reaching. So that's nothing to take into consideration. Is you want to reach into stuff. Couldn't quite get in there. Conclusion. Pretty much been saying it all along. I felt this straight away. It's a hard one to work out really, but like I say, I'd say light to medium, denseness, the one on the right, the, the two tough blade. Common sense really, it's just got bigger area to catch on and slow down, but then also that it's faster. So the faster blade, definitely a faster cutting blade, 
this one in because you got shorter and you got three of them it's got more power definite so that's I'd say for the heavier stuff and also I put it on a heavier machine bigger the machine the better with this blade yeah pretty much it well there we are hope this video helped someone helped you out if you're looking uh, into these blades which one to buy bit of a review and test cut there I'll do many more videos I guess in the future of comparisons either still against Husqvarna as time goes on I'll buy the machine of each type the same category and we'll do reviews on them and comparison reviews so I think uh, everyone likes them please like and subscribe thanks for watching cheers